Without a vision, the people perish. Welcome to Vision Plus, a program featuring a positive outlook, dealing with everyday situations of marriage, children, and business with challenges and opportunities. Believing Philippians 4.13, you and I can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Teacher, author, speaker, Delighting audiences from New York to Sacramento with a heart and message for the people today. Here's Bonnie Liphart. Without a vision, the people perish. And you know, God always inhabits the praises of his people. In fact, he loved praises and singing so much that when there was a battle, he usually sent the praisers out ahead of the battle. And that just... I think when people praise the Lord and they get that feeling of joy down inside of them. In fact, when I'm feeling bad, one of the things that I make myself do is go listen to some praise music and some singing, something that is just uh, gives, gives my spirit a lift because I know that, that God is in it and Satan has to go from there. Well, I'm Bonnie Libhart, and you're watching Vision Plus, and we have the great opportunity to hear a couple of praisers today. I know they have a group that's going over to Israel. These people don't, but there are a group that's going over to Israel and to Russia that are called the praisers, and I know if these young men were not in school, they could be a part of that group, I'm sure. This is a ministry of Williams and Hunter, and it's Sean Williams and Gil Hunter. Gil since I know his mother and dad for the last five years, I have to tell you, and you probably do too, uh, Curtis Hunter, Sandra Hunter. Sandra was the president, the state president of Women's Aglow, and they've been in business around this area so long. And also, uh, I understand from Sean that his dad is a longtime resident of the area too. Now, Sean will be a junior at UAH in the spring, majoring in broadcasting and communication. I can say uh, by experience that he has a lot of fun ahead and a lot of hard work. And uh, also, Gil is, it, uh, well, almost, as I say, in Arkansas, partner, but not plum, a junior at Alabama A&M, majoring in music. And he has enough hours probably to be a junior maybe pushing senior year but he changed his major so we'll find out a little bit about it and i am glad that he did they are not only praisers and singers but they have that wonderful gift that god gave his beloved J david and that is the gift of writing these praise songs and I'm going to get to hear several of them. Uh, I insisted that they put one of them. They were going to, they're going to do something more, the distance, eyes on you and free in you. But I insisted that they do another one. I heard them singing. So I'll, uh, now I would like to, for you to welcome Williams and Hunter. As we travel down this road, I see a smiling face, company of love, ministry of grace. I can't help but realize what God has given to me. I've got tears of joy, a heart of love, and a God so great He's given me. Friends like you, they bring the joy within, and it's friends. Many lonely nights will come in this life we live. There's the good times, the bad 
times, beginning and the end. And as we travel down this road, the Lord will show His hands to hold. And I am so glad that He has shown your hand to me. And it's friends like you that bring the joy within. And it's friends like you where ministry begins. And I am so glad that you are here with me. My heart sings out with love. My soul sings out so free because of friends like you. Friends like you to bring the joy within. And it's friends like you where ministry begins. And I am so glad that you are here with me. My heart sings out with love. My soul sings out so free because of friends like you. Understand, God reaching out His hand, telling us to give, trying to forgive, wanting us to die and live for Him. You say it's hard to live this way. To find where to put your faith Put your faith in God Give it all to Him Tell Him that you want to live Shadowed from the mystery That Christ has bought for you you persist to walk the line Friend, do not be fooled I can say I've walked the line Once or twice before The time will come for you, I pray When you walk through that door Put your hand in mine Together we will find something more Put your faith in God, give it all to Him. Oh, tell Him that you want to Someone to come and show you how, how to believe, how to receive, how to open up your heart to Him. your hand in mine together we will find something more if I had a way to clap for you guys <laughs> I really would I guess I can be one person to clap, but that was wonderful. One, one what audience. a blessing it was. Now, you, Sean, how long have you known the Lord? Mm, I was born, reborn about um, a year ago, and um, I was led to the Lord from a, by a friend of mine, and uh, it was really what I would call a radically saved. Some people use that term so loosely, but to me it means a lot, radically saved. How did it come about? 
Well, I, I met a person, a friend of mine, um, Lydia Presley, and um, she invited me to church, and we went to church, and um, I'd been visiting there at Faith Chapel for about a month, and um, finally, I just got tired of the struggling, the conviction, and the Holy Spirit was so hard. I got tired of the struggling, the inner struggle, and finally I just said, I'm all yours. Boy, and she, she is really used to the Lord in a lot oh, of ways, she isn't is. she? She's come to Chuck and Vicki that have this TV station. They have uh, had a share group that she came to, and she mm. was such a blessing. Yeah, and so, and you know, that's all a lot of people, the person has to do a lot of times is just invite someone mm -hmm. to go to, maybe if they don't say the words themselves, but mm. uh, the Holy Spirit will prompt them to bring uh, someone to church, and That's lo and right. behold, yeah. then yeah. the Lord can touch your heart there. And, Absolutely. Uh -huh. Then you met, uh, let's say, Gil, you've been going there a long time. In fact, yeah. the first time I really remember you was maybe five years ago, or thereabouts, four or five years ago, and your mom and your brother, Shane, yeah. Yeah. and he's at Evangel College in Emmanuel Alabama. College. E Emmanuel uh -huh. uh, College, Emmanuel College. Uh -huh. I was thinking all this time is Evangel, <laughs> Emmanuel. At, in at Georgia, mm -hmm. near Atlanta or 90 miles from Yeah, it's in Franklin mm -hmm. Springs, Georgia. Mm -hmm. And then he uh, and your mom and you s went around all around yeah. singing together, yeah. didn't you? Mm -hmm. And I know that you enjoyed that. And then you met, how did you two happen to start singing together? Mm. Well, well, one night um, Gil led worship on a Sunday night and he said, why don't, you, um, why don't you come up and lead worship with me? I said, okay, that sounds like fun. What, did you know he was singing? Yeah, I knew that he played the guitar and sang, mm -hmm. and um, so I called him to, to come and help me out. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was a good idea to say, why don't I come over and learn the songs before we go up there and lead worship Sunday night? So after we went over the, the list of um, hymns that we were going to sing that night, praise and, praise and worship songs, we just started playing something, and we, we just it was really a moving experience. What about writing songs. I've always, mm -hmm. well now my daughter that a lot of people know used to co-host the program, she wrote over 200 songs and oh, I gosh. always wondered oh. how she wrote those. I have those and someday I'll do something with them. I wonder how she See? came up with 200 songs <laughs> myself. <laughs> oh she just wrote and she would just, she'd be riding down the highway sometimes you know writing a song over there or she'd wake up real early in the morning and write them and I'd see Mark Throughs because I have her songs now she mm -hmm. she went on to be the Lord that a lot of people know about her but uh, I always wondered how that inspiration came how do you know that it's going to be a song or do you find mm -hmm. the title first and then you come up with a, the words or how does that come about well it's really interesting um, one thing that that is very interesting is that I think for every song that we've written it's been a different experience to, you know totally in the method of writing it and everything we do um, actually the, the titling of the song doesn't come first usually it's we write the song and then from that a, a title is drawn but um and and it's just the Lord definitely gave us these songs you know so many people say that and it's definitely truth you know Christian music I mean it's inspired by him um, and that that's definitely something we can just see well how do you, how it how do you see us. that how do you see that John well first of all when we start playing the music um, the lyrics just come to our head, and um, they're they're very obviously glorifying um, God. And um, and I think I remember praying um, a few months ago before I even met Gil. I said, um, "Lord, you've given me this guitar, you've given me this talent. Now put a song in my heart." And he just answered that prayer just so faithfully, just like that. And I have you got I've, a yellow pad out and you oh, started. absolutely, <laughs> never collaborated so well with, in in writing. Now you written, you're going to sing. Uh, some more of these songs that yeah. you've written, and mm -hmm. what are some of those? I see. I think we have. The I distance, you know, I think is yeah. Next. The distance, and mm -hmm. then eyes on you. So we'll let you just do the next couple, two, three songs, whatever you, Lord leads you to do, and tell us a little bit about how, what those mean. Would you okay. do that? Okay, okay. Great. great. I can hardly wait. Thanks. Let's hear it. Okay. Um, the distance is the next song. It's um, it's basically we, after we wrote it, we thought this is such a prayer. Because every word in it, every request in it is something that I wish I could pray every night, you know, to the Lord. And um, we just put it to music. A prayer put to music, I guess, put simply. This is called The Distance.
Wishing you were here beside me Walking in my steps today Wishing you were here to hold me To chase my every fear away Wishing I could see your life Flowing out of me So I could be the things in life Promised me I'd be oh, oh, oh. Lord, so many times you told me what you see and feel Remind me of your simple nature Reveal to me what's real If I could do just one thing, Lord And keep a heart that's true I'd close this distance that I feel From my heart to you God creates the heart he plans to live within but it's up to you and me to turn and ask the Savior in give the Father all you have and all you'd hope to be cuz I've seen too many people choose not to believe he is near Ooh. He is If I could do just one thing, Lord, and keep a heart that's true, I'd close this distance that I feel from my heart to you. And now I realize the truth, so simple to be seen. There's no such thing as distance, Lord, for you live here in me. This next song um, <clears throat> is called "Eyes on You," and um, and it talks about it talks about every trial, every trouble, every tribulation that you go through is inevitable. It's very inevitable that we're going to go through the fire and that we're going to go through the rain, and we're going to come out tattered and torn and and beat up and bruised. But um, the question is not whether we're going to go through, but the question is what we're going to be like after we get through. And our ultimate goal during times like these is to keep our eyes on Him, our eyes on Jesus. 
And that's exactly what this is, a desperate, um, a desperate uh, request to keep my eyes on him during the whole situation. an empty heart filled with pride Too many times, Lord, it's you I have to know I know I'll keep my eyes on you Give me strength to never turn away So much closer right here in your arms Not a step away from you I want to be oh, It's here I'll keep my eyes This next song I'm um, going to do is a song called Free and You. I believe this was the first one that we wrote. First one. Very first one <laughs> for all of you. I'm sure you wanted to know that so, so very much. Um, Roddy didn't know, but um, it's, it's an incredible song. It's a real encouragement to me. I think um, something that, that I've been realizing here lately as, you know, as a Christian is that Christians have a glorious freedom in Jesus Christ. Yes, yeah. And um, it is so important to realize that. You know, being a Christian has nothing to do with bondage or um, a boring lifestyle. Being a Christian ha has everything to do with freedom 
and living this kind of lifestyle. Yeah. And um, this is what this song talks about. And it's an incredible, Hallelujah. incredible thought. Hunter's house and talk to Gil Hunter. You can do that right here in the Tennessee Valley area. I'm Bonnie Lipheart and bless your heart for watching today and thank you very much Williams and Hunter. Jesus light of the world come rescue me So if you're lonely lost and confused sitting in the corner being you Sitting there with love reaching out your way He wants to make it you a new man Just open up your heart, reach out your hand And it's free in you and I remain to stand To be free in you and in your hands There's something down deep inside of me It cries for you, it cries for you Because Jesus said that heaven's just a prayer and there ain't nothing in the world gonna take me away from the love and the passion for life that I found. 